Welcome to running on reddit. r slash ask reddit, where people ask their most thought provoking questions, and receive interesting responses. r slash ask reddit. George Carlin said, think of how stupid the average person is, and realize half of them are stupider than that. What real life example have you seen that validates this view? I'm a physician. I doctor specifically. I will tell you that the longer I work, now 15 years, my standard for the average person continues to decline. Case in point, thanks to the awful information filtering out there, I had a patient just last week who read that vitamin D helps you resist a coronavirus infection. Well, he had also read that you can get more vitamin D by getting more sun. So, he wanted to collect as much light as possible with his eyes. As a result, he stared at the sun for a solid 60 seconds and burned holes directly into his retinas, permanently reducing his vision with no chance at future improvement. This must be what Darwin was talking about. A small price to pay for salvation. Praise the sun. One guy I met said that English is the true language of God because the Bible is written in English. I used to work in travel and the amount of people that did not understand the following was staggering. You cannot take a 3 to 7 round trip night cruise from Miami to Australia. And no, your friend did not just book this. No, there are in fact no ocean bound cruises leaving from Arizona. You cannot take a cruise from Miami to Hawaii and back in 7 to 10 days. No, the airport is closed you to hurricane slash flood slash ice and you cannot demand a flight on a different carrier out of the same airport in the next hour. Also no, you did not just see someone book this. Yes, it is a shorter flight for your friends from east coast US to the Caribbean than you in Europe. And no, nobody can change that. Yes, I will need your DD-214 to confirm a military rate. No, your word you were in a covered unit will not suffice. And no, I'm not disrespecting the military, because I cannot simply take your word for it. Yes, if a passport slash visa slash travel vaccinations are needed for you to travel, you will need it. And no, a manager cannot override this as it is a government requirement. I have been doing this for 6 years. And no, your friend's neighbor's hairdresser's roommate's cousin's mailman does not know more about this than I do. A girl in one of my college classes argued that heart transplants shouldn't be allowed because that's where the feelings are and the person receiving the heart wouldn't be the same person anymore. I used to work for a chatbot app. Our app would text our users every morning with a greeting in a different language. In other words, hola, bonjour, etc. One day, we got blown up by a user saying their account was hacked. She said, my name is Kim Smith, not Kim Konichiwa. Someone's hacked my account. When we explained that our service has been clearly saying hello to her in other languages every day and that Konichiwa is hello in Japanese and her account was fine. She went on a racist rant and said Disney was behind the destruction of America. Yep. On a related note, I think if I were to take up becoming a drag queen, I would seriously consider Kim Konichiwa as my drag name. Or, Karen Konichiwa in demand to speak to a lot of managers. Konichiwa. Chiwa sounds like something an Ewok would say. Or maybe a Reekling from Skyrim. Oof. Good one. Okay, so my favorite was a guy who was planning his honeymoon, but he didn't have a lot of money. He was bummed about the cost of air travel. A friend suggested a train ride might be cheaper. He became frustrated after a few days of trying and complained that he couldn't find any trains going to Hawaii. It still didn't sink in because he had seen pictures of trains in Hawaii. He couldn't grasp that they were shipped there. It got even more surreal after that. What was his reaction when you told him about boats? He argued with us that no boat was big enough to carry a train. When we told him how big container ships were, he was honestly befuddled. About half the calls I take on a daily basis. People call 911 to ask whether Walmart is open. To report that they didn't get enough mayo on their burger. To complain that cleanup at a fatality wreck is taking too long. All sorts of silly, out of touch crap. Granted, there is probably some level of mental illness and or substance abuse present in those calls. 
but still. We had a lady call 911 recently complaining that it was raining which made the roads too shiny. Are you literally asking us to control the weather? Yes. And then go out and repave the roads with something that has more of matte finish. I pay your salary. But she can't see the lines at night. Clearly this is an emergency. If you lizard ducks can control the weather and invade my thoughts, can you at least have the sun shining? Growing up, to even attempt to call 911 just for fun or non-emergency purposes was almost considered a grave sin. Apparently, to these people, it is no big deal. Maybe the folks at dispatch can fix me some dinner. Old boss had a morning routine of walking around the office with a bucket. He was watering all of the plastic flowers. At the start of working from home due to covid, I had a few users submit tickets for connectivity issues. These tickets got through to lines of support before landing in my queue. Turns out that the corporate wifi doesn't follow you home and you need home internet in order to connect to the VPN. I recently spent 20 minutes on the phone with a board member trying to diagnose why his camera wasn't working for our online meetings. Funny thing, you have to actually have a camera in order for it to work. That's ducking hilarious in the saddest way possible. I used to manage a retail store that sold teen clothing, so as expected, I primarily had teens working for me. One employee came to the back room while I was on break and asked what I was eating. Somehow the topic turned to how I should have brought chicken for lunch because she wanted chicken. I told her I was vegetarian and therefore don't eat meat. She tells me chicken is not meat. It's poultry and vegetarians can eat poultry. She said at the grocery store the aisles list meat and poultry separately so they're obviously different. We argued for a couple of minutes before I finally told her to go back to the sales floor. She didn't last her the job long, but damn. Wait, you should have brought chicken because she wanted some, man. You know the reason you bury a rattlesnake after you kill it is because bees will eat it, then bees can sting people with rattlesnake venom. Guy I heard constantly trying to pick up women on public transit. That sounds like a sick superpower though. The Georgia senator that wanted to prevent sending troops to an island because he was worried it would capsize. I worked in retail for a few years and it taught me that many people are either incapable or unwilling to read. I have had people walk up to me to ask me how much something is only for the price tag to be featured prominently on the item. It's $9.99 ma'am. How did you know? It says so on the price tag ma'am. The number of people who don't read menus at restaurants. It hurts me. When working at a restaurant, I waited on a large party and gratuity was automatically added by the computer. After handing out the check, a few minutes later the guest comes to me looking very angry. What is this gravity charge? Why you charging me for gravity? I do aquatic habitat restoration in a spring fed river that people frequently tube slash float on. Myself and numerous others been asked if it comes back around so they can get out. Yes, sir, it does come back around if you were at a water park, you idiot. I worked with a lady who was remarking on how a friend of hers had lost a bunch of weight. She pondered, I wonder how many diet cokes she had to drink to do that. Edit, same lady was convinced beyond repair that when you sneeze, the air only comes out of your nose. There was no convincing her otherwise. Man, this made me a little sad. People are so susceptible to marketing these days that they think just because something is called diet it must be good for them. Reminds me of my flatmate from uni who used to drink smart water before taking exams. At the DMV, I went to renew my license. I was waiting in a room with the computers that people used to take the written portion. The clerk sat a man down looked him in the eyes and said, if you pull your phone out it's an automatic fail. The window licker says, I eat while pulling out his phone and immediately failing. A woman I used to work with who insisted that any animal could reproduce with any other animal. She believed that sperm from any animal was the same and that DNA was irrelevant. She believed this because she once saw some sickly, possibly deformed puppies, and decided that they must have been half dog and half rat. 
Ah yes, rad terriers. Was at a party and someone's crappy old truck got stuck in some mud. So instead of sobering up and coming back the next day, he makes a Molotov cocktail with gas and throws it at the truck. The truck caught fire and was completely destroyed. The woman that called into a radio station to complain about the deer crossing signs on a highway saying that the deer will see the sign and consider this place a safe place to cross the road. Well, at least she's never heard of the why did the chicken cross the road joke. She'd call the FBI to deal with that sort of problem. When I was in high school, we were reading a short story about what would have happened if the Japanese attacked us back with nuclear weapons after Hiroshima and Nagasaki. A girl in my class raised her hand and said something along the lines of, why does this matter? None of it is real anyway. The teacher had to ask her to clarify, but this girl thought World War II and the bombing of Japan were just from a movie and didn't actually happen. The best part is, the girl was half Japanese. Similar situation for me. I was on a business trip with two colleagues back when Band of Brothers first came out. Over dinner, colleague Gay mentions that he watched a moving episode the night before, the episode where the soldiers liberate Dachau. A. It was really powerful, this episode when they liberated the concentration camp. B. He he he. The what? A. The concentration camp. B. The what camp? What's that? A. You know, where the Nazis imprisoned and exterminated millions of people. B. Oh my god. Seriously? When? Why didn't somebody stop them? A. Somebody did Jenna. It was called World War 2. I have never studied a Caesar salad so intently. If you like the content and want to support the channel, like and subscribe right now or you'll be running on fumes. When farms have trouble producing their crops and you ask some idiot if that worries them, I don't get my food from a farm, I get it from Walmart. It is so easy to take everything for granted. Hopefully, this current pandemic has helped us realize how fragile things can be. Let me know in the comments below, what is something you tend to take for granted. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe and turn on the bell or you'll be running on fumes. See you in the next video.